Hello and welcome to Galaxy Advisors. The purpose of this video is to explain how to obtain the four Twitter API keys that work with Condor 3. To begin, I want to talk about a preliminary step. So you have these four Twitter API keys, which we'll talk about how to get. Well, where do you put those? Well, those keys go into a file called Condor Properties. So a preliminary step that we're going to go through is to have Condor 3 create the Condor Properties file located in the same folder as the Condor 3 jar. So if you created a folder for Condor uh, 3, uh, if you look in there, you'll certainly see the Condor snapshot.jar. If you started Condor already, you'll have a Condor.log. And if you actually attempted a web fetch or Google CSE a search, uh, then or a Twitter search, you're going to have a Condor properties file created. So. If not, no problem. The next step, we're going to help to create it. So again, I just want to point out this is where these Twitter keys are going to go. The primary step is going to be this. To create the Condor Properties file, we're going to start MySQL. If it's not started already, you're going to start Condor 3. You're going to switch or create to your desired database and create or open a data set. Select Fetch Twitter under the Fetch menu. This will create the Condor Properties file. No, you only have to do this once. So again, the Condor Properties file, if you use uh, text edit to uh, look at it, it's going to uh, look uh, like I have here. And where I have the four red arrows, it's going to highlight the four Twitter uh, actually keys that we're going to copy and paste in. Now let's talk about how to obtain the four Twitter API keys. First, we're going to, if the first step is to create a Twitter account if you do not already have one. The second step is to create a new Twitter app or application which enables you to obtain the four API keys. The third step is to copy the four required keys into the Condor.properties file. Again, you only have to do this once. Now, after the four Twitter keys are entered into the Condor Properties file, then you can do a Condor 3 Twitter fetch. So let's talk about this. The first step is to create a Twitter account, again, if you do not already have one. So go to https colon forward slash forward slash twitter.com forward slash login. And all the URLs that I have in the video are beneath the video in the uh, text box called show more. So you don't have to, uh, you can just copy and paste those into your browser. So again, sign into Twitter. And again, if you do not have a Twitter account, You'll see new Twitter, uh, sign up now. So after you signed up for Twitter, sign in to create a new Twitter app. So go to https colon forward slash forward slash apps, A-P-P-S dot Twitter dot com. And you'll be taken to this application management page. And I've had it indicated with the red arrow. Click the sign in. At the sign in, enter your Twitter username or email and password. Click sign in. And then we're going to click create new app. So you'll see in the upper right corner, create new app, just click on that. Here in step five, we're going to create the new app and there's three entries that you need to put in. Uh, first, you need to create a name for your application, such as My Data Fetcher. Again, this has to be a unique name. Um, put in a brief description, such as collect data for my own analysis. And a website, such as http colon forward slash forward slash www.mysite.com. doesn't have to be working. It just has to have something in there. And you leave the callback URL blank. In step six, scroll down and you'll see at the bottom of the page, check I agree. Then scroll down to the bottom of the form and have create Twitter application. So click on that, that button, create your Twitter application. Now at this point, two of the four Twitter app API keys are created. Another step will create two more token access keys. So in step eight, click the API keys or manage API keys as you'll see in this form here. So there's two options. It's going to take you to the same location. In step nine, at the bottom of the page under token actions, click create my access token as indicated here. Then after that's done, you'll have a status message appear. And what I'd like you to do is click the blue refresh um, word in that. And that refreshes the page so you can see your token access keys. So after the page refreshes, the four Twitter API keys are now created to use with the Condor 3's Twitter fetch. 
and um, you'll see them there API key API secret your token access access token access token secret now the important thing is is to be careful uh, when you're editing the counter properties file because they're not in the same order so you'll see the access token and token access secret are at the top so again be careful copy and paste the four keys in one at a time on the other side of the equal sign just to um, be very clear about what key goes with what entry uh, match the Twitter API key to his counter properties name so the API key is the consumer key the API secret is the consumer secret your access token access token is access token and access token secret is access token secret again just want to point out to be very careful to match those and paste those keys on the other side of the equal sign in the counter properties file so if you now or another option is when you're doing a Twitter fetch a window will open and you enter your four Twitter keys there actually in the Twitter fetcher window so again um, be careful um, to match the the correct key with the correct um, entry on the form uh, step 13 you can sign on at this point again in case you would like to make another Twitter app uh, or a set of Twitter keys just return to this login page again they're located beneath the show more underneath the video uh, step 14 let's start condor 3 remember to start MySQL first if it's not already started create or switch to your database and open an existing data set or create a new one and then you're gonna click on the fetch menu and do a select do a Twitter fetch uh, here I have on step 16 enter query I've entered iWire I'm gonna click retweets as links I've entered 250 I'm gonna click next and then after you click that your four Twitter keys will be displayed or you can enter them at this point point. and again you just have to enter them once and they'll be saved in the counter properties file when that's done click next um, after that the Twitter fetch will take a minute to run you can go up into view in this case it's a static view of the iWire uh, entry that I had now a note uh, the new Twitter rate limits uh, you do get 180 queries for every 15 minutes at uh, no charge all right so to um, look and review the um, actual rate limits here's the URL that you can review those uh, rules and discussion about the rate limits if you do um, do a repetitive Twitter so search in less than 15 minutes you're going to get this Twitter rate limit exceed error so I just wanted to be it's very common for people to say oh I like my Twitter let me do it right away again but you really have to wait 15 minutes and actually I would say 15 to 17 minutes especially if you set up the repetitive Twitter fetcher I found um, the best bet is to set it at 17 minutes sometimes if 15 or 16 is just a little too close and 17 uh, minutes I found is um, a good uh, safe uh, number to set the and wait for to conduct your next Twitter uh, that's it I hope you are able to get your four Twitter keys uh, entered in the Condor properties file and have a good time with your Twitter fetching